In this video, I'm going to go over another bulk mail merge method. If you missed the video on method 1, I'll put a link up at the top of the screen. As always, check the video description for relevant links that I mentioned in the video. Previously, we created and sent mail in a single step. In this video, we're going to create and save the emails first, and then afterwards, we'll access the drafts folder and send the messages from there. You might ask, what's the advantage of doing it this way? Good question. There's not really an advantage per se, but this method does give you the ability to review your drafts before sending them, and in a lot of scenarios, especially in business, this is very important. I'm going to be using IDLE Interactive Python Shell, which comes packaged with Python. If you want to use the same, just type in IDLE in your command prompt. Otherwise, you can follow along with any code editor you wish. So without further ado, let's get started. If you already have a list of names and addresses, you can skip past this section. Otherwise, from the link in the video description, copy and paste the CSV data from my GitHub site into a text file and save as people.csv in your working directory. Then press Ctrl H to find and replace the address testing at outlook.com with your own email address. This will provide you with a list of names that you can use to demonstrate the mail merge functionality. In this tutorial, we're going to import the CSV and time libraries in addition to the standard Win32.com. Next, I'm going to import my distribution list with the CSV reader. Let's create a simple template for our mail merge. I'm going to use string formatting to insert the individual's name into the template. Create and dispatch an instance of Outlook. Now we're ready to iterate over all the recipients and create the messages. For name and address in distro, message equals outlook.createItem and use zero, which is the code for a mail item. Set the to property to the address. I'm going to put the subject property as your time entry is past due. Set the body property equal to the template dot format, and then we're going to pass in name. And then finally, instead of sending the message, we're going to save it with the save method, which will put it in the drafts folder. If I look in the drafts folder, I can see that all of these messages have been saved. This also allows me to check for spelling or other mistakes. Then I can delete them and start over again if necessary. Now that I'm happy with the result here, let's access the drafts folder in Python and start sending these messages. First, you need to create a namespace object and then use the git default folder method to access drafts, which has a code of 16. Next, we access the mail item with the folder's items property. However, since we're going to be sending these messages, we need to save a static reference to the items we're going to send. The reason is because when we send the messages, we're changing the size of the iterable, and that moves indexes around and so forth, and the result is that you won't send everything you expect to send because the iterable object is no longer in sync with your iteration. The next thing we need to do is chunk the distribution. If you remember from a previous video, Outlook has sending limits that restricts the number of emails that it will deliver, and in this case, we're concerned about the number of messages it will deliver per minute, which is 30. So we're going to chunk this distribution into groups of 30 messages. Now that our data is chunked, we can start sending these chunks in 60 second increments with the use of a timer. After each chunk, we're going to pause for 60 seconds. You can see that the messages are transferring to the outbox from drafts, and then they will be delivered shortly after. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy this content, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for future content. See you in the next video.